What's happening to YouTube? Back in the day, Gamer here. Thanks for tuning into my channel, and today, coming at you with another BGM unboxing. That's right, love my BGM subscription. Today I'm coming at you from the first snowstorm of the year with a bottle of whiskey. It's kind of early in the morning, but thought it'd be cool to film under this pine tree where until just now there wasn't really any snow but it's coming down so we're gonna open this sucker up and see what our boy Floyd brought for us this month there's something I was supposed to do today what day is it oh my god it's nudie magazine day Alright, before we get started, let's warm up with a sip of this Foggy Mountain coffee flavored whiskey. I'm more of a vodka guy, not so much whiskey, but uh, I got this stuff and it is fantastic. I like coffee, I like whiskey, it makes sense that I would like coffee flavored whiskey. Mm. Oh, and I do. Oh, jeez. Starting to come down under here now. Camera's getting all wet, so let's jump into the box. All right, first off though, last month, I didn't get a one up, but I got Arquista's ring, and that is a solid, solid game. It's kind of a heavy hitter. So, thanks, thanks Floyd for hooking me up. Actually, maybe just making good on no one up, but I decided to don the shirt again. I'm not mad at him anymore. Let's see, am I gonna be mad this time? Well, I feel three NES games, so I don't think there's a one up, but gotta be happy about three NES games. First one out of the lot is, oh, Loops. This game sucks. Yes, this game sucks. Why would I want to create a loop? Who thought that was a good idea for a game? It's not, this game sucks but just because it sucks doesn't mean I'm not happy to have it in the collection. It sucks, so I haven't had it in the collection yet, but I need it to complete it. So I'm not shitting on the guys at VGM because yes, I wanted it. All right, second game in the box is Rollerblade Racer. So oddly, there are several Rollerblade games on the Nintendo, and even more oddly, they're all pretty good. Now, back in the day, Rollerblade was a big thing. Obviously now, it is not, and we all know it sucks. Immediately I had fun with this game, and it's on the top of the pile to play on today's snow day. I wish the screen was either moved over a bit or it panned out so you got more of a view of what was coming at you. But you know, graphics, decent, the sound is okay, the controls are very tight. This is basically a crappy version of Paperboy. I think it's cool how it has lots of different levels and it has kind of a story, which is a one-up to Paperboy. So, last game in the box, is it last? Yeah, last game in the box is Laser Invasion. Immediately you can tell this is a superior clone of Top Gun. You know, you can choose the missiles, same as Top Gun, which you always want to choose the smaller ones so you have more, because it's one hit kills. But in here you can choose upgrades like uh, ground bombs, extra fuel, radar jam, you know, that's a cool little twist. It has all kinds of little one-ups like that. Unlike my VGM boxes, the small cutscenes are cool as well. Uh, different enemies right from the start, even if they are just color swaps. The dashboard has accurate info, which is cool. You know, how many missiles you have, how much fuel left, the speed you're going. Little things like that make a big difference. What I think is the coolest is the map and the radar, which actually works. The fact that you use the map to get to the boss is a genius idea. It's not just a mindless point A to point B, like Top Gun, but it's an open world, which 
makes it even cooler since it's such an old game. Now, I never picked this one up before because I just assumed it was a crappy, crappy game, but it's not. It's the gem of the box for sure. So we got loops, garbage, rollerblade racer, really cool, and laser invasion, even cooler. That's two solid games out of three. All three games I need to complete the collection, so I'm really happy with this box. So that'll about do it for this month's VGM unboxing. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And until next time, YouTube, keep it retro!